Nicolas Cage has recently stated that he may only have three to four films left in him and that he wants to say bye on a high note. In recent years, the 60-year-old has shown up in a number of smaller roles and whether you love him or hate him, you can't deny that he has a unique style and presence on the screen. He has starred in over 100 films, he has won an Oscar, a Golden Globe and many other awards for his performances. He has also been nominated for several Razzies, but what are his best performances? How do you rank such a diverse and prolific filmography? Well, that's what we are going to attempt to do in this video. So without further ado, here are our top 10 Nicolas Cage performances. Number 10. The Unbearable Weight of Massive Talent I'm Nick Friggin! Cage! This is a 2022 action comedy film that stars Cage as a fictionalized version of himself, who is struggling with his career and personal life. He accepts a $1 million offer to attend the birthday party of a wealthy superfan, played by Pedro Pascal, who turns out to be a dangerous arms dealer and kidnapper. Cage is then recruited by a CIA agent played by Tiffany Haddish to be a spy and rescue a hostage. The movie explores Cage's personal and professional challenges, his filmography and his fandom. The film features a star-studded cast, a witty script and a complex performance by Cage. Number 9. Con Air Welcome to Con Air. Con Air is a 1997 thrilling and entertaining action movie that features a star-studded cast and a fast-paced plot. Nicolas Cage delivers a charismatic and sympathetic performance as Poe, a man who just wants to go home to his family, but gets caught up in a dangerous situation. John Malkovich is excellent as the villainous Cyrus, who is smart, ruthless and unpredictable. The movie has many memorable scenes and lines, such as the plane crashing into the Las Vegas Strip and Cyrus saying, Welcome to Con Air. The movie also has a great soundtrack featuring songs by Leonard Skinner, Leanne Rimes and Trisha Yearwood. Overall, Con Air is a fun and exciting movie that showcases Nicolas Cage's talent and charisma and delivers a satisfying action-packed ride. Number 8. Bringing Out the Dead I was good at my job. There were periods when my hands moved with the speed and skill beyond me. This film is a psychological drama directed by Martin Scorsese. It was released in 1999 and stars Nicolas Cage, Patricia Arquette and John Goodman. The film follows the life of Frank Pierce, a depressed and burnt out New York City paramedic who works the night shift and is haunted by the ghost of the patients he failed to save. Over the course of the three nights, Frank struggles to find meaning and redemption in his work and his life, while witnessing the horrors and tragedies of the city. Cage delivers one of his best performances portraying Frank as a complex and conflicted man who is both compassionate and cynical, heroic and hopeless, sane and insane. Cage conveys Frank's emotions and thoughts through his voice, his facial expressions and his body language, making the audience empathize with his plight. The film also features an excellent supporting cast that adds a different dimension and perspective to Frank's journey, and they have great chemistry with Cage. Number 7. Moonstruck I'm gonna marry him, do you hear me? Last night never happened and I'm gonna marry him and you and I are gonna take this to our coffins. I can't do that. Why not? I'm in love with you. It. Moonstruck is a 1987 romantic comedy drama film directed by Norman Jewison. It's a charming and witty film that celebrates the power and unpredictability of love. The film is full of memorable characters, dialogue and scenes that capture the humor and drama of life. Cher gives a wonderful performance as Loretta, a smart and sensible woman who is torn between her loyalty to her fiancé and her passion for his brother. She shows her range as an actress and won Oscar for her role and deservedly so. Nicolas Cage delivers a quirky and captivating performance as Ronnie, a volatile and romantic baker who has a wooden hand and a love for opera. He brings a lot of energy and emotion to his role as he expresses Ronnie's anger, pain and desire. He also has a great chemistry with Cher and their scenes together are both hilarious and touching. Cage's performance is unconventional and risky, but it works for the character and the film. Number 6. Face Off you're not having any fun, are you, Sean? Try terrorism for hire, we'll blow some stuff up, it's more fun! The film Face Off is a 1997 science fiction action thriller directed by John Woo and starring John Travolta and Nicolas Cage as an FBI agent and a terrorist who swap faces through a surgical procedure. The film is known for its stylized action sequences, its exploration of identity and duality, and its over-the-top performances by the two leads. 
The film is also a showcase of Nicolas Cage's eccentric and energetic performance as he plays both the villain and the hero, switching from manic to heroic and from sinister to sympathetic. Cage's performance is one of the highlights of the film as he brings a lot of charisma and humor to his role and also manages to convey the emotional and psychological turmoil of his character. The film is a cult classic and one of the best examples of Cage's talent and personality. Number 5. Adaptation She's thinking I would never in a million years sleep with this guy. We think you're great. Oh, thanks. Wow, that's, that's nice to hear. This film is a 2002 meta-comedy drama directed by Spike Jones and written by Charlie Kaufman. Cage plays both Charlie and Donald Kaufman, twin brothers who are both screenwriters. Adaptation is a brilliant and original film that blends fiction and reality, comedy and drama. The film is a showcase of the acting talent of Nicolas Cage who plays two distinct and contrasting characters with ease and conviction. Cage portrays the neurotic and insecure Charlie who suffers from writer's block and low self-esteem and the confident and optimistic Donald who is a successful and popular writer. Cage shows his range and versatility as he switches between the two roles and also interacts with himself in some scenes. It is a film that deserves to be recognized as one of the best films of the 2000s and one of the best examples of Cage's career. Number 4. The Rock Listen, I'm just a biochemist. I drive a Volvo. Beige one. So what do you say you cut me some friggin' slack? The Rock is a 1996 action thriller directed by Michael Bay and starring Sean Connery, Nicolas Cage, and Ed Harris. The film follows a team of FBI and Navy SEALs who infiltrate Alcatraz Island, where a rogue general and his men have taken hostages and threatened to launch nerve gas rockets on San Francisco. Connery and Cage have amazing chemistry on screen and Harris plays the perfect villain. The Rock arguably remains one of Michael Bay's best films to this day, while the plot is pretty basic. The Rock has just enough amazing action, a great soundtrack, and self-aware humor makes it perfect 1990s summer film. Number 3. Pig. In 2021, Nicolas Cage surprised everyone with the most tender and understated performance of his career. Pig is a poignant and powerful drama that explores the themes of loss, grief, and identity. Nicolas Cage gives a stunning and nuanced performance as Rob, a man who has lost everything and finds solace in his bond with his pig. Pig is a film that celebrates the power of love and the value of life and showcases Nicolas Cage's talent and versatility as an actor. Number 2. Raising Arizona Turn to the, right. the first time I met Ed was in the county lockup in Tempe, Arizona. You're a flower you are. A day I'll never forget. I do. You bet I do. Okay then. Raising Arizona is a hilarious and quirky comedy film directed by Joel and Ethan Cohen, who also wrote the screenplay. Nicholas Cage gives a charming and funny performance as High, a lovable loser who tries to do the right thing but often fails. Holly Hunter is also great as Ed, a strong and determined woman who loves High and the baby. The film is full of witty dialogue, slapstick humor, and absurd situations. The film is a cult classic and one of the Coen brothers' best works. It ranks 31st on the American Film Institute's 100 Years, 100 Laughs list, and 45th on Bravo's 100 Funniest Movies list. Raising Arizona is a film that will make you laugh and smile and appreciate the simple joys of life. And finally at number one, Leaving Las Vegas. So what brings you to Las Vegas? I came here to drink myself to death. Leaving Las Vegas is a 1990 film by Mike Figgis. It is a powerful and tragic drama that explores the themes of addiction, love, and death. Nicolas Cage gives an Oscar-winning performance as Ben, a man who has given up on life and seeks oblivion in alcohol. He portrays Ben's despair, pain, and humor with realism and sensitivity. Elizabeth Shue is also excellent as Sarah, a woman who is trapped in a degrading profession and finds solace in Ben's company. The film is shot in a documentary style using handheld cameras and natural lighting, giving it a raw and authentic feel. The film is not a typical romance, but rather a realistic and heartbreaking portrayal of two lost souls who find each other in a hopeless situation. The film does not offer any easy solutions or happy endings, but rather shows the harsh reality of addiction and its consequences. What did you think of our list? What Nicolas Cage films do you like that we missed? Please let us know in the comments and thanks for watching.